We are starting off the vlog in my car. <laughs> we're waiting for some friends, but we're here at the pumpkin patch this morning. Um, we got back home from Arizona a couple days ago. We got home Saturday night and it's Wednesday. So it's been a couple days um, of adjusting and like resetting a little bit, but I really, really wanted to take the kids to a pumpkin patch. And this month is just so busy with things that I texted my friends right away and I'm like, if we're gonna plan it, Let's do it because if not, the month is going to get away from me and then they're not going to go to a pumpkin patch. And Lucas is older now, so he's super excited. Are you excited, Bob? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> super excited. Now, now, now you said I'm older? You're older now. You're three years old. Yeah. And one of my friends has a four-year-old little girl. And so that makes me really excited for them to be able to play. Um, and then my other friend, well, she has a four-year-old and a six-month-old. And then my other friend has a one-year-old. So um, lots of little babies, but I'm glad Lucas has someone his age to play with. Uh, and yeah. Literally the biggest fail ever. Her outfit was so cute, and now I have to change her out of it. Oh. home an hour ago and little ma'am got an outfit change clearly because she had that blowout oh my gosh you guys I was so sad when I saw that what are you staring at <laughs> she's just staring at the light above the sink I was so sad when I saw that blowout um, and I had an extra change of clothes for her in the car but then I realized the little onesie that I had for her or the like sleeper it was a newborn size and it just would have fit her way too tight. Um, she is three months old though. She turned three months yesterday. So this is my final month with a little newborn. And it's very bittersweet. It's however you want to consider it though. Some people say after two months, they're not a newborn anymore. Some people say three months. I'm gonna say three months. Um, I wanted to take pictures of her at the patch, but she slept basically the whole time anyway. I fed her a bottle right after I changed her um, because she got a little fussy and she was hungry. Then she fell right back asleep. She slept the whole time we were there. We were only there for about two hours with our friends. And then um, I took her out one time towards the very end for like a group photo and a photo of the three of us. And yeah. Uh, it was a little upsetting, but it's okay. Things happen. I'm just glad that it didn't really get on her shirt because then things would have been a little trickier. But we're home now. I just laid Lucas down for a nap. Hopefully he sleeps. It's a little late for a nap, but anything after four o'clock I try. I try just to keep him up after that, but I put him down at 3.30. I have quite a few things to do though during nap time. 
and I don't even know where to start. I think I'm going to start by writing, making a list of all the things I have to do and then tackling them from there. But I cannot believe I have a little three month old baby. Do any of you want to guess which child of mine only napped 30 minutes? <laughs> about like 45 minutes to put her to sleep for her to only sleep 30 minutes but it's okay because daddy should be home any minute he's home early i'm so happy steven's coming home early It's really funny because Steven has to be so careful when giving kisses to Josephine because his beard like scratches her and she does not like it. Like instant cry. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh. What are you doing? When I tell you guys, I have tried to pick up the camera so many times throughout the last week and it just always felt like there was something, something take, well, my mom, like my kids are going to take my attention. And so filming has not been the easiest lately, but I decided today that I would just film without any expectations. I'm like expecting my videos to just be like these super put together all the time, really good, motivating, pretty vlogs. This morning, Lucas has a three-year check-in with his pediatrician, so I just got ready. You know, to throw my hair up in a pony. Hi, baby! Josie's here playing. Um, he has an appointment, and um, I actually stayed up till midnight last night, you guys. I'm kind of tired, and we have no coffee at the house. Yay. Um, I stayed up till midnight, almost one, making a cheesecake last night for the man who takes out our garbage. And I'll catch you guys up with story time later on that, but he's just so, so sweet and always going out of his way to help us. If I'm being like forgetful of taking out the trash, like anyway, he's so amazing. And so I wanted to thank him. And the only way I know how to thank people is by making food now. And I think that's like the best way to thank someone is by giving them food. So I made him a cheesecake. Well, I made a cheesecake and then I gave him like two big slices of it and some leftovers from dinner last night and uh, i gave that to him when he came by this morning i wanted to make sure i was here so that i didn't miss him um he's pretty consistent with like the time that he gets here so i was ready i was like looking out that window had the windows open so i could hear the truck um but he's just such a sweet guy what is happening you don't want to lay any more and play mm. no you don't want to lay any more and play no more play he's not real mom you're getting tired again, huh? Her wake windows genuinely go by so fast. Like that hour and a half, it goes by so fast. And yesterday she struggled so hard to take a nap, you guys. Like from like, oh, I want to say from like 1 to 6 p.m. I was just that entire time trying to get her to sleep, sleep on me, sleep in her crib. Um, it was rough. It was rough. So she fell asleep early. She fell asleep at like six o'clock and she didn't wake up till 6 a.m. this morning. So she was exhausted. But basically my whole day yesterday was just trying to get her to sleep. It's like 11.08 and we gotta leave the house by 12.15. I'm in the water! <sighs> um, to make Lucas's appointment. 
But I just laid Josie down. It's such an awkward time, but like she wanted to go down and it's like too long in between to just like keep her awake or that's what I'm talking about guys. So she's down now. Um, I think I laid her down and she's quiet right now. So hopefully she falls asleep. I got to remember to stay hydrated. I also need to drop off a gift to my friend. It was her daughter's birthday a couple weeks ago, but we had to miss it because that's when we were like all sick. We were sick for gosh, probably like a whole month. We had the bug. Just each of us had the bug. Um, so I'm going to drop that off to her either before or after the appointment depending on if like Josie happens to wake up and like can't fall asleep then we'll go before because then she'll fall asleep in the car we are gonna drop off her birthday gifts okay yes then we'll no. go this big Leo and little Leo I'm gonna show you guys a little hack that's something that has saved me so much time and headache. I have this like little basket that I got for the baby shower and I keep a wrap in here. I keep extra clothes for the kids, underwear, onesies, all that stuff, all the diapers. I got another extra pack of wipes, hand wipes, little random little toy, and then some lotion. And I even go as far as like packing pads in case I like start my period out of nowhere. I have those here. Back home now, it is several hours later. I don't know if I mentioned, but we ended up going grocery shopping after Lucas's appointment. I was able to drop off um, my friend's gifts at her house before going. She lives so close to me so close um we went to trader joe's i genuinely laugh at myself now like at this point because there's just no time or energy to get frustrated with myself or like let me give you guys a little story time so the last two times we've gone to trader joe's this time and the time before it's been a story so this time on our way out i actually needed assistance leaving and going to the car because i got two big pots of um the mums flowers the bouquets and i have them out in the front porch i'm gonna show you guys they're so so pretty but i needed help because i brought the stroller and then i needed a cart so i come to the car and as soon as like we're done putting all the things in the car putting josie in the car lucas in the car i see him doing the potty dance and I'm like, oh, yeah, no, like, we're not going to make it going back to the store. So what I do is, quick thinking, I'm like, okay, he's not going to make it. He's doing the PB dance. I got the kids already in the car, the stroller in the, in the trunk. Do you guys remember when I showed you all those diapers? So I grabbed one of Josie's diapers. And I basically, like, told Lucas to pee in the diaper because we just weren't going to make it. And he was going to pee his pants and that was totally on me i told myself as soon as we get to trader joe's we need to go to the bathroom and i just totally sidetracked it because josie again like really struggling to sleep today i thought she was gonna sleep while we were out she did not she slept for probably like 20 minutes and then she woke up and I'm like oh my gosh it's gonna be one of those days again where she just cries 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 because she's tired i feel so bad for her so yeah I just hurt, hurt her over the monitor. Um, we got home though. I put both the kids down. I gave her one last bottle before her nap. Um, and now they're hopefully both sleeping. She's awake. But she's not crying. And she's tired. And sometimes it takes her a minute to fall asleep. So I'm going to leave her in there until like, I know she needs me. I'm going to put these groceries away though. But before I do, I'm going to give you guys a quick haul. I was in a rut. For a minute as far as what it is I wanted to cook for dinner like sometimes Pinterest like it's nice and all but like I found myself going to the same recipes and not wanting to try new things because I just feel like the things I want to try just require so much so many things so many ingredients things that I don't normally carry and I'm like you know I don't really want to make stuff that I don't normally carry in case you guys didn't know, Steven is 
Chilean. And so we have this Chilean cookbook in here. And literally everything in this cookbook is like just things that you would normally have in your fridge, which I absolutely love. And everything looks so good and like just like all fresh natural ingredients. I'm trying to figure out, I'm trying to find what it is I'm cooking tonight. Well, tomorrow I'm making empanadas. That's what I'm making. Sorry for the lighting. That's what I'm making tomorrow. I've never made them before, but I'm challenging myself to make one thing, at least one thing, every week that I wouldn't normally make or that I've been wanting to make or something that feels like it would be difficult and like overcome it. Um, cheesecake is an example. I used to be terrified of making cheesecake. I thought it was the hardest thing ever to make until I made it and it's honestly so simple. So simple. But this is what I'm making tonight. It's called cazuela de tepada con chu chuchoca? Chuchoca. Cazuela de pava con chuchoca. Basically, caldo. It's just soup. It's turkey soup <laughs> with cornmeal. Except um, I'm not using turkey. I could not find um, turkey drumsticks at Trader Joe's. So I got chicken, which I don't think it's going to make a total difference. Um, but doesn't that look so good? That looks so good. And it's getting colder now. So I figured this would be like the perfect recipe. Yeah, this is the book. I will link it. We got it off of Amazon. This doesn't look like much, but I already have a couple things in the fridge. So I got some corn cheese for sandwiches. I always, always have this on hand because Lucas loves these noodles. Some potatoes, red pepper, bunch of parsley, bunch of parsley because one of my recipes calls for parsley. And then the other salsa better that one had like two bunches of parsley. So I got a whole ton. Whole carrots, some mushrooms for breakfast. Um, Lucas wanted some raspberries. I got some vanilla bean paste. Um, I've just found that it's always nice to have tomatoes. I have another yellow onion because I cook with them all the time. And these are just things for the bathroom. We needed more soap, so I got some soap. These are my favorite, favorite protein bars, the barbell bars, you guys. It's so good. Definitely recommend um, eggs because I use that a whole ton. Green beans. And then um, some ground beef and the chicken and then the cord bread mix. Uh, I don't know. I'm hoping this is what I needed for one of the recipes. Um, I'm not entirely sure, so we'll see. I didn't mention this in the last vlog, but we got a new fridge. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know that. Um, so let's restock the fridge with all the groceries. don't want to start falling behind so I have that one load to do um, and if you guys saw those pillows those are our couch pillows when we got back from Arizona we walked in to the house at what time was it, it was like almost 1 a.m. we got home and it smelled like a litter box in our house I was so oh my gosh, when I was tired it smelled like a straight litter box in our house turns out kitty at some point, I don't even know how long it, it was sitting there, but she had peed in the corner of our couch. And pee urine is such a hard smell to get off, specifically for animals. Because I have kids and like things have been peed on, but there's something about like pet urine that is so hard to remove. And I have just been, we clean the couch, but the pillows I've been putting off. So it's two of them, but I've been putting them off and yeah, that happened. We had a house or pet sitter, um, so she would actually like let the animals in and out, but the kitty's a little more, she's easy, but she's not, like you gotta know her. So that accident happened. Look how pretty. 
these are. I saw them and I was like, I cannot pass these up. They're so pretty, but I do want to get a different vase for them and I want to see how long I can keep these alive. I've been really good with keeping plants alive, but flowers are a different story. Change of outfit because I'm going to attempt another workout. I started my first postnatal workout yesterday and it felt so good. I'm three months postpartum and it took me way too long to start my fitness journey after having Lucas. And when I started a bar, it was just such a game changer for me and the fact that I could do that at home. I'm starting a new program, Evolve You. I've mentioned them before. Um, fitness app, love it so much. They have so many trainers, but my trainer is Emily because she's full bar and she just came out with a pre and postnatal workout. So I'm doing their um, Restore program. It's a six week program and I found myself yesterday. I started day one. Um, it was like a 15 minute workout and I found myself wanting to do more. And so I added on another like glute workout on top of it. So that's what I love about their app is that like you can just add on if you feel like you can do more. And so today I'm going to be doing awaken your glutes again. All I need is an exercise mat and a Pilates ball. So that's what it looks like. So let's go do that while the babies are still sleeping. workout um i actually plan on doing like a whole video of like my progress this time around postpartum so i don't want to talk about it too much in this vlog and i think i'm going to be documenting it on instagram i had done this like i want to say a little over a year ago um i had started the program and i was really doing so well um, but then that's when my grandpa got sick and that's when he passed away and I just never got back into that routine again um, and it's taken me this long to start again. Um, so I'm really excited about it. I'm genuinely giving myself so much grace this time around and just learning to be proud of myself for just the accomplishment of each workout and finding the time to prioritize my health that you know goes with exercising, my food intake, um, and like that all reflects on my children too. So um, just really taking the time to prioritize my health. If you guys are looking for a postnatal or even prenatal app or a program, I definitely recommend the Evolve You. Um, app it you do have to pay I paid for the year because I know I love this app so much um, so it's worth it for me um, but I'll link it down below for you guys uh, and yeah so both kids officially sleep I'm really glad that Josie ended up falling asleep because I knew that girl was tired now that I have the time I did want to tell you guys very quickly the story of um, I don't like calling him our garbage man um, but the very nice gentleman who takes our garbage weekly, he actually told me his name and I am so bad with names that I already forgot it. So I'm sure he can't remember my name either. So the next time when I see him next week, I'm gonna be like, wait, can you tell me one more time? But anyways, um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I've already told you guys like one story about him, how he just like, you know, sometimes I forget to take out the trash or I'm doing it as he's like, coming around and I remember one time he had already made his round but he told me to um, take the garbage out anyway and um, he would take it for me and I was like oh I was like thank you so much like I really appreciate it I hate that you know he had to get out of his car and like help me out and I was like I don't want to make your life more difficult um, so I really appreciated that and then when we left Arizona 
um, the house sitter we totally forgot, or the pet sitter, we forgot to tell her to put the bins out. We had already had them out front, like by the gate, but we're like, okay, when garbage day comes, can you roll them out to the, to the sidewalk? Um, and we forgot to tell her. So turns out our garbage was taken out and we didn't know if it was her or him. And so we looked back at the ring camera. He got out of his truck, he got out of his car and he went all the way up to our gate, grabbed our bins and took out our trash. And I was like, okay, this is the second time that I've made his life more difficult and I did not intend for him to do that. Um, he didn't have to do that. You know, he didn't have to, he could have been like, oh, well, it's not on this, it's not, it's not where it's supposed to be, so I'm not gonna take it, you know? Because there are people like that. And so I, last week, wanted to make him food and I just got, just life was crazy. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna do that again this week. This man deserves something. Like he deserves like a good thank you he needs to be shown like you are appreciated and so that's why i stayed up really late last night um making that cheesecake and then gave him a couple of slices and then i gave him some leftover food and so it was really nice because um he's just always so sweet with lucas like when he comes and does his rounds he'll always like sometimes he'll bring the bin with the like arm of the garbage can and he'll bring it like right to where we could see it in our front door or like by our window and lucas likes to watch the like the what do you call it whatever picks up the actual garbage and he'll do that back and forth so that lucas can see it and it's just always so nice of him and he always gets so excited he's always smiling when he sees us he's always honking and waving and so um we actually got to meet him today and like introduce ourselves and i got to introduce um him to the kids and it was just like really really sweet the last couple of days have been so so hectic and crazy and I i've had so many like oops moments <laughs> oh my gosh that i'm just so thankful for god's grace and i've just really felt his presence so much more in the last couple of days every time i feel tired overwhelmed anxious like i feel his love i feel his gentleness i feel his grace i feel his presence and that has helped me like push forward the last couple of days i have been worshiping so hard in the car lately and it's made me so emotional because like lucas is starting to memorize so many of the worship songs that I play and to see him worship Jesus is just the sweetest thing. I've caught myself so many times wanting to respond with my flesh and like getting really frustrated with certain things, certain moments and I try really hard to like let those moments just be moments and not let that dictate how the rest of my day is gonna go. Um, oh my gosh, another example. I was telling you guys this like Trader Joe's story. So I actually had planned on going to Trader Joe's last week and I was just having such mom brain. It was one of those days where both the kids were super fussy, but I needed to do grocery shopping and it was actually getting pretty late. Um, it was like, oh, like three, two or three o'clock in the afternoon, which is super late for me. Cause I like to have an idea of what I'm gonna make. I wanna have dinner ready by a certain time and so, I was getting kind of antsy as i was pulling into a spot it was like right in front of a building um in the parking lot i guess i hit the gas over the brake as i was pulling in because i was trying to slow down um into the spot and i went up the sidewalk you guys and had i like not caught myself in that instant i would have literally driven into that building with the kids in the car. My heart dropped. I was so embarrassed and like I felt so much shame. Like how can I not be thinking clearly when I have both my kids in the car? Like I just felt terrible. And it took me a second. I backed up and I just like sat there in silence for a minute. So I ended up going to a different grocery store, but I got home and I just I couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't believe what I had done because things could have been so much 
worse. And then again, that just goes back to God's grace. And in those instances, I'm just reminded he is so good because what the enemy wants me to do in those moments is to convince me that I'm a bad mom, that I'm a reckless mom, you know, like all these lies that we tell ourselves, you know, we make one mistake and then we label ourselves as a certain way. That's exactly what the enemy wants from us. He wants us to feel shame. So anyways, yeah, it's been one heck of a week since coming back home, but I kept putting off this vlog because just something kept coming up where I'm like, okay, I'm just not I'm just not gonna film today. I'm just not gonna film today. And today for some reason I'm like, okay, no, I kind of want to push through a little bit and just like be real with you guys. Not that I'm not in other videos, but like be real. Like this is what goes on in my life. This is what happens sometimes. It's okay. We pick ourselves up. Not everything looks pretty all the time. We make mistakes. Pray, pray, pray. That is my biggest advice anytime you feel, anytime you have an anxious heart. Um, and you guys know, like in the beginning of my postpartum journey, I was going through a lot of anxiety, uh, which also I'm going from one thing to another, but because I have so much to tell you guys, I'm in the middle of this devotional on the Bible app. It's um, God's advice for wives. And um, today's devotional, the title is Guard Your Home. So one of the things, I had meant to share this on Instagram, I had to screenshot it, that I read in this Devo was, uh, I have to reshare it with you guys. This is, these are not my words. Peace is not passive. To have peace in our home, I have to work for it and make it a priority. I have noticed that the quickest way to rob the peace in, in our home is through worry. Mm. Anxiety can drain our family's energy and quench its calm faster than just about anything. On the other hand, when I refuse to be anxious, when I trust God and remain peaceful, I help, I help to create a climate of peace. Ooh, you guys, if that wasn't convicting, I don't know what was, is. Um, this devotional is really good. It's eight day devotional. I'm on day five. It's so good. This is This is what it looks like. I shared this um, on my Instagram, but yeah, going through that devotional right now and uh, it's really helped me throughout the day. I'll spend like about 20 minutes doing this de devotional and I'll like go back to it time after time throughout the day, but I don't like sit down and light a candle and um, like just make it look all pretty. Like I have been learning that trying to find time with God is just finding the time, doing it whenever you can. I found myself looking through my devotional while we were at the doctor's office waiting for the doctor. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna like look real quick <laughs> and read a little bit. And yeah, like that's just an example of like what your time with Jesus can look like, what it can look like. Um, it doesn't have to be all pretty with your coffee. I mean, that's great. I love time like that. But lately I haven't been finding time like that, so. Yeah, I definitely have talked so much in this vlog, oh my gosh. <laughs>